Hi. 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 We're Tomorrow Lab, an invention studio focused on new hardware technology. We create prototypes and then turn them into market ready, manufacturable products. With the help of our potentially genius guests and our friends at DigiKey, we turn a potentially genius idea into a prototype of a potentially genius thing. All while giving you a peek into our four phase invention process. In this episode of Potentially Genius, we're working with Dr. Elena Kraft, who is the Senior Director of Climate and Health at the Environmental Defense Fund. Dr. Kraft's expertise is studying how the energy and transportation sectors can reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and air toxins, especially around transportation ports and environmental justice communities. In her work, she advocates for policies that improve human awareness of the health issues associated with exposure to these toxic compounds. So Elena, what is your potentially genius idea? My potentially a genius idea here is for us to create a monitoring network that's a combination of stationary and mobile units where we're able to capture the quality of air, coupling that opportunity to share information about air quality with communities. We're at the edge of an idea, guys. We are now going to take this potentially genius notion. We're going to go through our discovery process. We'll have something physical to show you and um, we'll invite you back on to present it. That would be terrific. So in talking to our potential genius, Alina, we learned that there's a huge concern about air quality, particularly around industrial cities that have a lot of different sources of potential air pollution and a lot of generators of ground level ozone. Uh, in order to display this, we looked at a lot of different uh, factors that we could measure um, and a lot of different sensors. We were going to focus most likely on a particle counter type sensor. We're also looking at different ways of displaying that information and where to display that information. So we've gotten to narrow down the design brief. Um, we're going to kind of pair two displays of the air quality index, one for the city at large and then one for the precise location of, of where you're encountering this display. Through that, we can think we can create some comparison and awareness of the city and the local air quality. Um, but I think the next steps here are to continue to brainstorm on like where this goes, what exact form it takes. Um, I'd love to spend some time actually just gathering some more like LED displays that we could use to prototype with um, to, to kind of back up these concepts. For electronics, we got everything that we needed from our friends at DigiKey, including a Seatduino Xiao, an Adafruit Universal Solar Charger, and an Adafruit 5 volt Mini Boost, two SG90 micro servos, and most importantly, the MQ131 ozone sensor. This tiny seat Duino, essentially the brain of the project, is always powered by a battery, which is charged by the solar panel whenever there's sunlight. When tungsten trioxide inside the ozone sensor becomes less conductive, the seat Duino knows there's more ozone in the air. Then it translates the signal into parts per billion, drives a servo motor to a certain angle, so the circular display rotates and points to a right ozone level. What we've got is this device, which is gonna show local air quality readings in a kind of analog way by spinning these wheels inside of this housing to display different levels on a, on a meter. And I think it needs a lens, like a clear, a clear part covering this. So you can put some markings on the outside of the lens and see through what's going on underneath, protect it from the outside. I'm gonna try vacuum forming it. Basically that means taking a sheet of plastic like this, heating it up until it's flexible, putting it over a form, which looks like this. I printed this out on our SLA resin printer so it's very smooth. Next steps for us, we're gonna to wanna to, uh, bang out the math for power consumption, mate a solar cell to it, and work that into the form factor that Jesse's got. Jesse, your housing, scale it up. Well, it sounds like we have our work cut out for us. I'm really excited to see what comes up next. 
Hi, Elena. Welcome back to Potentially Genius.、Uh, we have something really exciting to share with you today. Awesome. Thanks so much for、uh, having me. I think,、uh, I think we got a real winner on our hands today. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. What do we have here, Jesse? We have an ozone sensor and display wrapped up into one device. Oh, that's awesome. So we have this onboard ozone sensor in the base, powered by a battery in the middle, which is charged by a solar panel in the top. Um, it continuously collects data and updates the values at intervals and pushes it to these two dials. The one on top shows the data for this current location. The one on the bottom shows the city average. And they display it with this rotating dial that combines the numbers with color and shape and size information to sort of contextualize it and show you if you're in the green zone or, or not. You want to be in the green. <laughs> you want to be in the green.、Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, and right now it's pulling、uh, data from here.、Uh, and then the city average is an aggregate of multiple sensors throughout the city. So the dream is we would have dozens, if not hundreds, of these in a given city, all of them connected to a network. And then they populate a,、uh, a website. And then we can pull that city average. We have you know, sensors, and I think that we have apps telling you sort of average, but we haven't seen those two different. Silos of, of information put together in one place. Do you think we created something potentially genius or, or not? Yes,、uh, potentially genius for sure. I think this is great. Well, thanks very much. That, that means a lot coming from you. And, and once again, thank you for all the work you're doing. This has been amazing. And I really appreciate the ingenuity and the effort that went into、uh, developing this,、um, this instrument. It's really exciting. 